Hello everyone, this is Sister Gloria, and we're going to be coming from the book of Revelation, chapter 22. I'll we'll start at the 11th verse. And it says, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And the next verse says, Behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to pay every man according as his works shall be. For I'm Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Here God says that whatever state that we die in, that's it. We don't get a second chance to repent. And I know many of you know that, and some of you don't. But whatever state that we, we leave here in this world, if we are unjust, if we filthy, if we are righteous, if we are holy, that's that's the judgment that is going to be upon us. That's what that's that's how God's going to judge us. So, people of God, prepare for the soon coming of Jesus Christ. As we said on yesterday, get your house in order, close doors, get out of relationships, anything that will keep you from seeing Jesus in peace. We all ought to run for our lives, put our trust in God, give him our all in all, serve him like he served us. Jesus came here to serve, not to be served, but he served while he was here. He came here and died for our sins. We don't have anything to give God but our lives. I remember when I first got saved, I was like, what can I give God? I was like, I ain't got nothing to give God. But, you know, as I grew up, I recognized that I have my life. I have, I can give him my life. I can live for him. I can do what he's called me to do. He has spared so many of us and gave us so many, many, many chances. And how can we pay him back? By serving others. We will serve. Now we're going to serve others. We're going to be a help to many. Yeah. You gonna be a help to many. I'm gonna be a help to many. That's 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 my desire to please the Lord. We want God to be glorified in our lives. And so, Father, we thank you, God. Lord, thank you for your mercy and your kindness, Lord. Thank you for loving us, God. Thank you for keeping us in our right minds, God, giving us the activities of our limbs, Lord God. Helping us, Father, to keep our minds stayed on you. Lord, help us, God, that we let nothing and nobody separate us from you. God, help us always, God, to keep a song now in our hearts, Father, in Jesus' name, God. I'm praying, Father, that the body of Christ, that we don't throw in the towel, that we don't give up, that we don't become weary and well-doing. For in due season, we're going to reap if we don't faint. Lord, help us not to bite and devour one another. Speak all manner of evil against one another, Lord. But Lord, help us to love on each other while we got one another. In Jesus' name, Lord. Oh God, I'm asking you, God, to bless us, Lord, spiritually, Lord. Bless us, God, where it's going to count, Lord, God. And then, Lord, as you're blessing us spiritually, Lord, we know we're going to get them other benefits, Lord. We know, we know what's going to happen. Mm. That I wish above all things that you prosper, be in health even as your soul prosper. God wants us to prosper in every area of our lives. He wants us to be ready. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Have mercy on us all. That's all I have. I'll see y'all in the next video.